what's up everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Ryan Tusher and did you just say the sky or the ceiling if you're inside I get it that was a good one I missed the opportunity congratulations you win uh, but other than that it's almost the end of August summer is already gone and out of here almost my tree is the leaves are falling already I yeah yeah like why can't summer just sit here and stay for a little bit like seriously man just 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 relax with us um, I will say I do enjoy the sun the heat not so much I don't really enjoy the heat the heat it gets to me sometimes so I've actually last fall felt really good I get to wear my khaki pants get to wear short sleeve shirts it's cool outside you have to have the windows open I don't know I've had a newfound respect for fall maybe it might be my, my new favorite season but like are you a summer person or are you a fall person now if you're a fall person you might just fall in love with this channel ah, I beat you to that one I'm just kidding that's enough puns for today today we're talking about the HDR mode for the photos on the Canon R6. If you don't know what HDR stands for, it stands for high dynamic range. Basically, it gets you get to pull more colors out of the highlights and the shadows compared to a normal like dynamic range where if you go into the shadows a little bit, it starts to turn into blacks really quickly. If you go into the highlights, it goes out to whites really quickly, they call it blown out. So the high dynamic range allows you to capture all of those those colors that you want to bring out, the blue skies, while also being able to capture the interior of a room and stuff like that. So we're going to go over how to do that, go over all the settings on the Canon R6 and help you to uh, add this to your arsenal of knowledge. And uh, yeah, let's hop on over to the desk and we'll get on into it. Here we are in our new top-down angle. We're here with our Canon R6, and we're over here in photo mode. We're in manual right now. So to get to it, your settings, we're gonna go ahead to the camera icon, go to the fifth page over, and it'll say HDR mode. It's gonna start off with being off, but you can go ahead and enable it by going to auto or choosing any of these three exposure value settings. Uh, of course, the higher the number, the uh, higher the brightness and like the darker the shadows and everything like that. If you want like a more dynamic range or a less dynamic range, basically. I always just go for auto, just keep it simple. Um, then you have the effect tab over here. This is so natural will give you basically like a grayer photo with um, all of the stuff. You can go through and color grade it yourself. Art standard will go through and kind of color grade it for you for what it thinks that it should look like. Now this has given me some weird shadows sometimes and it also gives me some really gray settings. Sometimes where like things that shouldn't be gray are like really, really gray. So sometimes this isn't really the best. Art vivid uh, is like a, gives it a different type of style. I think this is like more of like a cartoonish. Um, and then there's like art bold and art embossed. I don't know these off the top of my head because I don't ever use these. And then you can go to continuous HDR. This will do uh, HDR for every single shot. So every time you hit the shutter button and you take a picture, it'll go through and do the HDR setting where it takes three photos and then compiles them all together. Or you can do it where you want one shot only and it'll take one shot, bam, bam, bam. And then it'll go through and compile them for you. But then the next shot, it'll just be a normal photo for you. So let's go back into our settings. We'll leave that as every shot for now. Auto image align, I never actually touch this because I don't ever use a tripod normally. They say if you're using a tripod to go ahead and disable this, but I always do it handheld, so I always leave it enabled. There's different settings. And then there's save, there is save source images. You can go through and save just the HDR image, or you can go through and save all images, but I don't really need all that on my SD card, so I kind of just go through and save all, save just the HDR image. So yeah, that's basically it for the HDR images and everything like that. Of course, when you go through and you take an image, like I said, you're going to go through and here three clicks. And that'll take three of the things. Now, this does not work. If you have the shutter on just electronic, it won't actually let you, uh, dis it won't even let you enable the setting. Let's say you go to the electronic shutter. It won't even let you enable it. If you're interested in the electronic shutter, we're going to have a video coming out about that next week. So stay tuned for that. But I think that's it for this. So let's head back over to the chair and we'll end the video. So hopefully that's helped you learn how to take HDR photos on your Canon R6. Um, it's pretty cool. It allows you to get really nice dynamic range out of your camera and out of your photos and everything. Um, but I'll be honest, I don't always use it. Sometimes I still just take a raw picture and in post I go through and just change all the exposures and everything like that. 
and I can sometimes actually capture the same amount of data as I can with HDR mode on. I think HDR mode has a very specific use case. You have to really figure out where it is. I think it's good for interiors with an outside window or something like that. At least in my testing is what I've found out. But it's pretty cool. I definitely need to go learn more about it and stuff like that so that I can take better pictures with it. But I sometimes still just go for the raw pictures. But if you're here for the tutorial and you're here for the HDR stuff, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, maybe hit the like button and if you wanna see more, hit subscribe. But if you wanna see a little bit more, we've got a little bit of B-roll today. Um, at the end of this video because there's an event in my state called Back to the Bricks where a bunch of old classic cars do a little bit of a drive down on the street and they go up and down and everything like that and they show off and they rev their engines and stuff like that and it's really cool and I decided to get some b-roll of it and take some nice photos so I'm gonna put, the, put them at the end of this video and stuff like that so yeah thank you guys very much for watching I will see you guys next week here's the b-roll see you later